and bring it back over here to Liesl. Uh, so Liesl and I actually had this conversation this past week uh, when it came to negotiations for women in cannabis. Um, so women do not tend to ask for raises, promotions, or better opportunities. They don't ask for recognition for the work they do. Some may say there is, this is one of the reasons why there is a wage uh, gap between women and men. Now what tips would you give to the women in the audience who are looking to apply for a managerial position and want to come prepared when it comes to negotiating their contract, salary, or position? Sorry, that's, that's a long question. Um, yeah. All right, so you know, I think you know the, the best ammunition you can have in going get, getting a raise is making sure you have enough information, right? Making sure you really know the industry, what other you know positions at the same level and other companies in industry pay. And luckily now, as the industry start starts maturing, some of that information is available, right? So you can find that on a job board. Um, we also release a salary guide every year that lists sort of job uh, salary ranges that you can look into that as well. Um, so really do your, your research before you go in and ask for that salary range. Um, and you know, I would also connect with recruiters and make sure that you, um, you know, know if you need to make a jump and um, uh, you know, you have a plan B as well. So interview for other jobs. So the best way to go in to negotiate a job raise is to have the ability to walk away and say, I know I can get that somewhere else in the industry, right? Um, you know, so that's number one. But, you know, I think more than anything, I think women need to know their worth, right? If you walk in there and you know your worth and you're confident, um, that's gonna go a long way. So expecting, uh, expecting uh, to be recognized for what you do, I think the mindset, it's a body language, it's all of that as well. So very important aspect. But most of all, I would say, figure out where you want to be in two, two to five years from now, right? I think a lot of us just go for that next move, a next jump, or maybe a slight salary range, or a different job title. But you know, figure out personally what inspires you, what are you passionate about, and how can I get there? And be really clear, and you know, and be able to visualize where you want to be, because I think you know, as we all have started to realize that if we put the intention out there, we can visualize where we want to go from know from today to where you want to be in five years from now um, it's going to be a lot easier to track your path that way um, and uh, you know make sure that that move that you are looking for is in that right direction um, and you know I think be really well prepared when you walk in there um, and uh, you know ask for the raise and I think one of the other stats that you put out um, earlier this week is that very often women take no for an answer um, and uh, men usually don't they will come back with you know um, counter offer or, or ask again. So be a little bit more tenacious is my other advice.